My name is Anna Kemp. My name is Sylvia Bishop. And our project is called The Inspiration Machine. The Inspiration Machine was a one-day creative writing workshop that introduced participants to the history of constrained writing with a particular focus on the work of French experimental writing collective, the Oulipo. Uh, we're both children's authors, so the main focus of the day was using constraints to write children's fiction uh, and also to help children and adults uh, write together. Our fully booked workshop brought together a wide range of people from age 9 right up to 67. The age range was really interesting because the Olympian approach is to write through play. Uh, so for the adults I think it was very liberating and for the children it was quite validating because it's how they naturally work anyway. So people went home with a new set of ideas for breaking writer's block and we hope a newfound enthusiasm for French experimental writing. I'm Nadia Valman and I organised a series of free events and activities to showcase the long cultural history of migration in the East End. So I created a smartphone app which takes you on a guided tour around the Spitalfields area of London and that was once the centre of Jewish immigrant life. And the app uses um, a forgotten Victorian novel called Children of the Ghetto as a kind of walking guide to the area. And I also organised a series of live guided walks with the Migration Museum project which explores different areas of London through the eyes of migrant writers through the ages. One of the greatest successes for me about this project was the diversity of participants. They came from all ages and backgrounds. Participants felt that they had a much greater sense of pride and interest in East London and a greater desire to learn and read more about it. My name is Julie Freeman and this is Chris Falks and our project is called RAT.Systems. RAT.Systems stands for Rodent Activity Transmission Systems. It's an art, science and technology project about a peek into the lives of a colony of naked mole rats. During the project we've been continuously monitoring the activity of a colony of naked mole rats over the last year and a half. We've been using that information to study the activity patterns of these highly social and unusual mammals. The data that we've collected has not only given us um, scientific insights, but it's given us a way to use data as an art material to create a whole set of visual artworks. The project has inspired and engaged over 84,000 people in person through various events that we've done all over the country. 